Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I'm going to give you another helpful tip on window seals, windshield seals, quarter window seals, that sort of thing, inserting the chrome. You know, I haven't done a tip on this in many, many years. I do have an old video on this and installing the seal around the glass uh, and installing the chrome. But I've been getting some people lately calling me or emailing me asking me hey you know i'm trying to put this seal on it doesn't want to stay on the glass the chrome doesn't want to stay in the seal what am i doing wrong and uh could you address this and help us out here and i do want to talk about this because i think over the time you know from when i was using these rubbers here and the chrome say 10 years ago they are they're pretty different today i mean i've as i've spoken about before in the past the quality of the parts and the materials today seems to be declining and just getting a little you know cheaper and cheaper of course but uh so before we get started this is the car we are working on right now it's a 1962 turquoise sedan build a bug project for a wonderful woman in california named Lori. hoping to have this thing wrapped up for her very soon maybe even a christmas present for her in late 2019 here we just finished installing the headliner and we're ready to put the windows in and uh so we got the headliner material from Wolfsburg West. It's that Acme material, which isn't terrible, uh, but it, it plays the part. It's actually doing what it's supposed to do. And some people ask me, hey, can I change my headliner without taking the windows out? No, you cannot. Maybe the front window and the early bugs you can leave in, but the uh, quarter windows, back window, that sort of thing, you need to take these windows out because the headliner glues into the window opening. Uh, so you need to pull the material and glue it into this region in order for everything to stay intact. So, but coming back over here to the seal. So, I religiously use West Coast metric seals. <clears throat> and I like them because they're soft. They do go in nicely into the window opening. I really don't have much of a problem. The only downside I can say to maybe some of the West Coast metric seals is maybe they're not as, as wide. Um, you know they're a little bit thinner i guess for when i mean like meat this way you see how thin this is some of the seals that i've worked with before maybe a little bit wider the flap here comes out a little bit more especially here in the corners uh you'll notice sometimes when you install the windshield the corners want to tuck in and they don't want to be resting flat like they need to rest flat on the body like this so when you have the windshield in the car after you installed it, a lot of times the seal curls under. So the only thing with the West Coast metric seals that I have seen um, is that maybe sometimes when you after you install, they curl under, but there is a fix to fix that. Uh, Wolfsburg West even has a video on how to do that. You just, you can get a block of wood, a small block of wood, and put it in the corner and start hammering very gently, of course, on the rubber. You put the wood on the rubber and hammer it this way. And so, or sometimes you can, once the glass is in, you slap the glass down okay so to kind of move the window into into a better position and to center itself a little bit better so that's one issue that comes up the other issue which is the big one that i've been getting emails on is that they people cannot keep the seal on the glass now i don't lube the seal uh, in the groove where the glass has to insert into i keep that dry because you need it to bite you need it to grab onto the glass so I don't do that and that you just got to make sure too. a lot of people they're they're putting the seal around the glass in the wrong groove so a lot of times when you get these seals in the mail they are inside out and so they get confused which groove has to go on the glass so you have to make, remember that the flap needs to face outward here and this is what's going to rest on the body so you need to have this flap out, okay? The top groove is where the chrome goes, and then the inner groove, of course, here is where the seal wraps around the window. Now, sometimes it could be tight to get around. The West Coast metric seals, I do not have much of a problem, okay, uh, getting around the glass. You might have to you know, put a heat gun on it, hair dryer, that sort of thing, or let it sit out in the sun if you wanna soften it up make things a little bit easier on you you know to install around the glass German seals work pretty well too I know they have molded uh, seals too 
they're double the price uh, but I, I still don't have a problem with the West Coast metric so once then you get the seal around the glass now it comes time for the chrome now the chrome has changed over the years in quality I do get my chrome still from uh, CIP1.com because uh, I buy in bulk a lot and CIP1 has free shipping so I always throw the chrome in there but I've noticed that the chrome it used to be where and I could probably take this out for the time being well maybe not <laughs> uh, I'll take it out right now so I can show you guys okay so usually you see this edge here the way you can tell which way the chrome inserts into the seal is that you have when you look at the chrome you need the the, the larger arc okay where it kind of overlaps the bottom uh, lip has to be bigger when it's arching to go into the seal so you you don't want it the other way around where you see the arch and it's just kind of hanging there uh, and it's shorter than the top okay the top curvature here it has to arch because you want this to sit flush on the seal as best as possible so that once this is installed in the car this flap will be up and everything will be resting securely so it's i'm kind of trying to explain it to you the way it goes in but what i've noticed is is what the the chrome today or the trim today that they're selling it's all even they're even it's evenly uh, cupped or like a c fashion like this it's not like this like the over arch like it used to have it's all perfect so it doesn't matter which way you flip the chrome now but at that with that said it's sometimes a little more difficult to get it into the seal we still you know we have we do get it in but um you know it could be a little more difficult than traditional style uh, trim that they used to make uh wolfsburg west uh, i haven't bought their trim in a while uh, correct me if i'm wrong guys if you guys have and their c channel their c trim is uh is maybe better i don't know uh, i haven't used them in, i haven't bought from them in a while i just like i said i get from cip1 and you know it still plays the part it still looks right as long as you install it correctly now the way to install the trim and i know i showed it in my past video i use wd-40 but i use now regular dish soap and just one of these implement blades these little plastic blades you can use a plastic butter knife and i just squirt some soap onto the blade here onto the the tool and i just start rubbing it into the seal okay and just going back and forth all the way around the glass so it's lubricated and then this trim will start going in to the seal now i start in my corners so i always start in the corner here you have to pull the flap and i always try to you got to be careful but I like to have the windshield off the table like you see here so you can kind of get your hands under here I can squat down and I can get underneath and then I can really you know just kind of look eyeball to it and I can get my hands under and, and really maneuver this seal it's really just pulling this seal down see here with my thumb I kind of just do that and I get the edge the bottom edge of the chrome and I start working it into the seal. You don't have to press too hard. It really does work. But when you're using both hands, I have one hand on my camera, of course. When you're using both hands, you're able to insert here. Once you start here in the corner, then what I do is, as the trim is up and out of the seal, I'm able to like kind of wedge it and massage it into the groove and like pushing the groove out so I can insert it. And at the same time, you can also press down here to get the opening just you want to get the crack open to get the the trim in there you might have it to get a second hand to hold it on to okay to hold uh, uh to someone to hold the corner to hold the trim in place until you get enough meat or enough amount of trim into the seal so it holds in place but you're always working it you got your hands everywhere and then at the same time making sure that the seal does not pop off the glass and once your seal, if your seal pops off the glass as you're putting the trim in, you got to stop. You got to take the trim back out and then put the seal back on. And again, a lot of times it might be slipping off the glass. Maybe you got some lubricant on there. It's not holding firm. So it can be a pain in the neck sometimes. But, you know, uh, that's how you work it and that's how we pretty much do our seals. Be careful pressing on this trim because it's, 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 it's light it's it's easily uh 
you know, able to be bent. And you don't want a bent piece of trim going around the window. You want it to look nice and uniform, you know. So, uh, but once you get enough, you know, trim material in the seals, it starts to hold into place. Um, but again, if you need a second hand to hold the seal on, I never use tape to hold the seal on. I never had to have, I never had to do that. Um, <clears throat> these seals pretty much can bite on as long as, you know, they're not so lubed up to the point where it's saturated, you know. You know, so it's, uh, I've been doing it for so many years, it just comes kind of natural to me. That, but I know if you're a first timer and you're trying to work on this, trust me, I've had my hands ache for hours after uh, I put seals and trim on. Uh, but that's basically what I do. And um, you got to think to yourself, you know, how did they do it in the factory so quickly? Uh, sometimes you just don't don't look into it so much so deeply um, I, it's not really rocket science it's really nothing that you have to you know pull out an algorithm for <laughs> you know it's um, just one of those things where if you're good with your hands uh, you, can, you can get this get this job done um, so again a lot of times the seal is popping off the glass because you put the you put the seal on the on with the wrong groove on the glass you probably put this groove on the glass and that's many times why it pops off brazilian seals i have had the problems of yes it popping off those seals tend to be harder they're not as pliable they're not as soft and they're very tight going around the glass and then i used to have a problem where it was like a rubber band effect where on this uh, curvature towards the bottom of the glass the seal would pop off because it was just so tight and I could strum it that's how tight it was uh, so I, I, I kind of stay away from the Brazilian seals I either go with the West Coast metric or I go with the German seals you got a Cal seal again I would not go with the Brazilian stuff try to get something a little bit better um, if you do want to use Brazilian and you're on a tight budget I would definitely heat it up and make sure it sits out in the Sun for a good amount of time so it gets soft now you also want to remember if you do have an original glass you want your logo, I don't know if you can see the logo here, there it is. The VW logo faces outward uh, on the passenger side, on the driver's side. And you want to make sure you can read the logo as you're looking into the glass, as if you were looking into the car. So you don't want this flip-flopped on the other side and it's backwards when you're reading it as you're facing on the outside of the car when you're facing in. So always make sure you can read the logo as you're looking into the car. That's how you know which side or which way the windshield goes in. Now, <clears throat> once you have all this trim in place, then you got the center pieces that you got to join here. And again, I usually work my way all the way around the seal with the trim. So kind of like here's the C fashion on this side. I leave it opened and then I do this side and I do leave the trim up just a bit sticking up on both ends. So then I can slide this on on both ends okay center it and then I just kind of come down low and I just start pushing the trim into the seal and it pretty much will pop in again lube it with some soap and then you should be okay uh, now how do you know if you're centered you kind of you got to make sure you have enough lube in there so you can move this back and forth so I'll get my tool and I can push and push this side to side if you can do that you're in good shape then once you install the windshield you'll know you're centered by your logo your trim all the way up then here's your washer spout and then that's where you kind of center uh, that those trim pieces so a lot of times I see them crooked and the same would be on the back once you put the back window in you want those trim pieces those joining pieces to be even with you know the contours of the rear deck lid so straight up you want then that trim piece to be right here so it's centered right um, you know a lot of times I see them they're off but and what we had to do actually on this trim piece it was too they were too long so when I joined it here they were the trim pieces were overlapping kind of and I had it all correct in the right contours here with the curvature of the window and whatnot so I, of course I had to come in here with a little bit of a, a little hacksaw and trim off a piece. So just as long as you have enough meat underneath this clip, you're okay. And then the top piece was actually all right as well. So, um, yeah, it's, it could be kind of tricky sometimes. And then 
I spoke to guys that worked for Volkswagen, uh, that they live near me, they're my mentors, these guys are awesome. And they remember when they had to replace windshields, they then, once they had this all set up like you see here, they used a lot of silicone on then the outer portion of the seal. Again, be careful because then you don't want the seal to pop off the glass, but they'll lube, you know, this whole portion here of the seal. I mean, he said to the point they lubed it where the, the silicone was dripping, like saturated, like sweating, you know? Um, I don't go that crazy. So what I do is I'll grab some soap or silicone, put it on my hands, and then I'll rub it into the corners all the way around the window and around the window opening here on the body. Get that nice and lubed up just because if you lube the seal, when it comes time to put that either weed whacker line like I show in one of my past videos or a rope, a thin rope that you have to put into the flap here to pull, you have to pull this flap, you know, see, let's see if I can get under here for you. This is that flap. The rope has to go in here. If you put too much silicone then in here on the seal, that rope or weed whacker line will slip out very easily and then you'll wind up uh, not being able to pull the flap sometimes inside the car. So uh, I hope this tip helps you. Uh, there is a tool I want to show you that we use now over Weed Whacker Line, which I think is very, very cool. Let me go get that for you and I'll be right back. So guys, this is the tool we use now. It's been around for some time now. Uh, I used to use that Weed Whacker Line, but now we use this rope and it goes through this handle and it goes through this tube here. And what you do is you pull the rope so you pretty much on the shorter end here and you insert this end into the seal you pull the flap up insert this end of the tube into the seal and then you start dragging i'm gonna have my guy steve here pull this into the seal and you see how this works it could be a little tough sometimes but you just got to make sure you're staying within the seal whoops see and sometimes it pops out like that that's okay and you can always go back and insert it back in there Sometimes you want to put a little lube in there too, that's okay, but just don't do too much because then it'll slip out. And it seemed like the rope is, you know, a little bit better than the weed whacker line because it, the weed whacker line will tend to slip, it's more of a plastic feel. So he was good, he's going to go all the way around this seal, okay, all the way around until you get to the back to the bottom where you crisscross. And then once you crisscross, then you're ready to install the seal, the window into the car. And then when you install it into the car, Again, I lube the corners here. You lube the whole underside, uh, the, the window opening on the body. Let this lube so you want the window to seat good. You don't want it sticking out. And you'll see, it'll, it'll push right in and you'll have a really nice fit. And just don't start doing the glass or installing it until it really has a nice fit. And you're gonna probably need somebody else out here. Now I'll have a link in the description below to the video that I did years ago and you could just follow that method. The only thing I have changed from that video is that then from a, what I've learned from a factory video that I've seen and I'll I'll probably put a link or a video section on this video now an overlay to show you how they went around the uh, how they installed the, the windshield in the factory. When they start pulling the rope and going all the way around I used to go say this way come up halfway and then I'd go the other way come up halfway and then continue this side until I met in the middle with both uh, with the with the rope. I don't do that anymore because I, it tends to break and snap. It puts too much pressure on the glass and it snaps straight down the middle of the glass. So I do not do it that way anymore. I go all, I just go all the way around, and that's the way they did it in the factory. Um, the factory uh, would just go all the way around from the bottom. You basically do a whole 360 around the whole glass. Do not stop at the top. Just keep going, and then you pull out at the bottom, and that seems to be uh, a crack-free job. Uh, so, uh, you guys have any questions, email me, Chris, at ClassicVWBugs.com, and please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell when you can. And uh, also, in the description, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can uh, send a PayPal donation link. Uh, there's a PayPal donation link in the description below. Send us a couple bucks. Keep this content alive. Keep it, keep it going. And uh, keep giving you how-to tips on how to keep your, your VW alive on the road. All right, guys. Have any questions? I know this was a wordy uh, video, uh, but I wanted to go over because I, I've been getting emails lately about uh, trouble with uh, rubbers 
uh, seals around the glass and such and uh thought i'd just give you a couple tips there all right guys take care uh -huh.